what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play RuneScape! Okay, these first few levels here are me going to these places called Lava Dragons. I think I probably did this before. Uh, I got a bunch of loot, I died a bunch, and now I actually started training my crafting specifically to be able to do Fairy Tail. Listen to that. Oh, it's such a nice jangle. A jingle jangle. You don't actually hear it a lot. That's actually the sound you hear when you don't unlock anything from level up. And crafting is a pretty big skill. You pretty much learn something every level. So here's, I mean, that's a jingle you hear whenever you do unlock something. And it's not as cool. And like, it doesn't sound as cool as the one when you don't unlock anything. It's weird how triumphant it is. Here's making all these levels eventually start cutting out the time. Gold net, no, wait, the gold bracelets is I think what I'm going for here. Bracelets, there we go. There we go. So at this point, I actually buy a bunch of gold bars. I need some like 2,000, like 3,000-ish. So you'll see here, I buy these, um, I believe it would go to a board here, so like, okay, that's not buying. And actually, buy it for 40,000 coins total, so 500 per 40,000. And I bought some more here, sped up this footage because you already saw that pretty much. So keep in mind, I spent like 80,000 gold here because you're going to see I make like a lot of money off this. I make something like 250,000 gold just from like a couple hours. And this is, I mean, this is pretty fast leveling at first here. It eventually slows down, of course. Um, other fan braces, you, you don't see a bunch. So the reason why I went for, I mean, I think I need like 32 or something. In order to unlock the, unlock the ability to do uh, Fairy Tale, which is a quest as my pretty much one of my biggest goals at the time, because um, with that I uh, okay, uh, with that I'm able to use these things called Fairy Rings, which, which let me teleport around, which are super useful because there's so many places you can teleport around that's so useful that isn't just you know teleporting with magic and jewelry and stuff. Um, it's also very good. I, I get 46 crafting. I'll start speeding through this in a second more. <laughs> Like I said, when I start these skills, normally, you know, it's like a hell of a lot of levels. Like, I think I go up, like, something like 200 total levels in this video. That's going to slow down, I promise. The farther I play this game, the more it's going to slow down. We also got our first uh, level 50 stat in this video, actually. I'm not going to spoil what that is yet. But, um, hey, we're, we're halfway to 99 on skill, uh, monetarily wise. Number, just looking at level wise. Experience wise, no. <laughs> Level 50 is around 100,000 experience points. Level 99, which is the max level, is around 13 million experience points. So it, uh, it ramps up quite a bit. Um, but still pretty cool to um, be able to get that. Uh, oh, level, total level 600 there. That's awesome. That was our first total level milestone. Yay! We now call it rupees. Oh, baby. Uh, what else do I need to do? I think I needed another, some, to level something else up as well. Here you'll see I bought more gold bars. Cause actually, even though I only needed something like 32 crafting or something like that for Fairy Tail, um, the guy actually told me to go to 47 or something like that. So I decided to do that. Oh, crafting guild level 40, you get access to the crafting guild, which is one of like the like quote unquote elite guilds. But most of the time, you don't really need that high of a level. There's some of them. I think like Magic, you're like level 66, which is pretty dang high. So I don't know what's up. Some of them, like, you know, cooking, for example. You know, like, what, level 30 you get into cooking guilds? Like, that's so sad. Here we go, look at that. I think we started, like, 240,000 gold, and now we're at 270. Oh, I got a, um, an achievement diary for teleporting to follower. And here, I'll quickly show you this random events where you get put in a jail cell. <laughs> that If players are walking by, they would actually see me. Then you just gotta match up the shapes. It's real silly looking. And then I went and did the slayer task of, uh, ice... Uh, warriors? Yeah, Ice Warriors. I got a couple levels in. Oh, something's off, I think. Um, hit points level 41 there. Slayer. I really like Slayer. I enjoy it a lot. It's like an excuse to like, train in different spots. It, it's really nice because it like... Um, it really kind of forces you to go to a, different bu a bunch of different places. Uh, and it's fun. You know, you don't gotta stick in one spot for hours and hours and hours on end. You go one place, you do your task, and then you go and get a new st uh, change of scenery. So it's very nice. I enjoy it. Some people don't like it, most people like it, but I definitely hear the occasional person that says they hate it. So this thing here actually took me a little bit to figure out. Um, I thought you just click and drag these things, but no, you gotta you use like these arrow keys on the side, uh, and you just make a beehive, and that's that random event. We're running out of these random events, so we'll stop showing them soon. I decided to get some more agility levels, um, by completing a lap, and here's actually what the lap looks like. I decided to start doing this. Whenever I do, like, you know, a new training thing, I'll kind of just fast forward to show, like, what, what I'm doing exactly. Look at this animation. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pull vault, and I just kind of slide around, it's real stupid. So I decided to go for 45 agility. Obviously, the more agility levels, the better. Um, I would really like to go for full of grace. Here's a genie, by the way. I got one of these before. I didn't show it for some stupid reason. So here's me using on an herb. So right now, I've been using all these farming, all these things on, um, 
all these uh, lamps I get on uh, a Jill or sorry, herb lore because it costs the most money. But I'm thinking I should probably start using it on agility or rune crafting because at the end game, those are 100% the hardest levels to get. So I could really use all the help I could get on those. Also, agility is already extremely slow and we're only level 45. This is where I decide to stop. I'm gonna go for 50 soon. Um, I need 50 for something, I think. I don't know. Uh, there you go. Teleporting to Camelot. Actually unlocked um, an achievement diary thing. I got another level there. One more level, actually, in defense, and I'll unlock uh, the ability to use rune armor. And there it is right there. <laughs> Which is fantastic, because uh, rune armor is the first kind of, like, not newbie armor, I guess. I mean, it's pretty much the highest armor you can get in... Um... Uh, here's me getting cave slime slur test. This is at the start of the stream, obviously. Uh... Level 40 is like, rune armor is like pretty much the hardest armor in uh, free to play. Um, so there's that, and of course I have members so I can go beyond that. But for now, here's me completing uh, the spirit quest, the nature spirit quest, which is a, a prerequisite for doing fairy tale, which once again, that was a huge goal. And that was the first big milestone teleporting around. And there you go, I got another Mauritania achievement diary thing by praying at that altar. It's kind of cool getting all of these achievement diaries just by playing the game normally. Um, right here I am going to Entrana, which I believe is also an Achievement Diary thing. Um, Entrana is an island of uh, warship where I'm not allowed to bring any weapons or anything, so that's that's what I'm doing here. I was doing this for a quest as well, um, The Lost City. Uh, there we go, that's the Achievement Diary. Uh, the Lost City, which um, is the quest I'm doing right now. Is it? Here I am complete. I'm walking this thing and for some reason I don't actually go inside. And there I am! I completed the quest! Yay! It's, it's funny because like this is my stream uh, achievement diary for, for Fowler for jumping that wall, which is an agility shortcut. Oh yes, it's the fairy god for the um, fairy tale growing pains, which gave me one to seventeen farming, which is a skill I'm definitely gonna be training soon. <laughs> as soon as I unlock some more teleports, it's a I, I like farming, but it's kind of hard to get started because you need a lot of like good ways to teleport around beforehand. But I'm getting there. There's a few more teleports I need before I'll feel like yeah, hey, I'm good to go. And I start going through some of the bliss, but yeah. And here I am, unlocking the fairy rings. The fairy rings. And this is the, actually the one quest I hope to ever have to start and not complete all in one go. Um, so here's me demonstrating how the fairy rings work. You get a, a code, a thing of like each little notch thing has like four uh, letters there. And you type in a code and it teleports you to wherever that code leads to. For example, so leads me to a pointless penguin island. But I don't know why I came here for, to be honest. I don't remember. But I was like, yeah, let's go just to a pointless place, I guess. So here's me killing an innocent little penguin. Um, oh, this is me trying to get, oh, oh, that's right, this is me getting a, um, uh, a rune pouch, actually, because I got level 25 rune crafting last time, I, um, last highlight video here, uh, and I tried to go get another rune pouch, because you unlocked another bigger one, and I wasn't able to get it, because I got swarmed, so there's another secret area you could get to it, just accessing me with the fairy rings, which is, one, which is another big reason why, uh, here you'll see me buying 6,413 rune essence, bad idea by the way, turns out, uh, rune essence is worth 10 GP each, and pure essence, which is the level above rune essence, is only worth 5? It's, I, like, I didn't think that, so I literally wasted a lot more money than I needed to. I mean, it still wasn't a whole lot of money, but still, it's, it's just kind of like, ugh, every penny counts right now in, in this beginning part of the game here. But it's fine, here's another random event, doing a mime contest thing, I just copy what he does, it's easy. And he dropped a mask. Ooh, a spoopy mask. Uh, so here's, I guess me kind of doing a run here. Um, so yeah, this is, the, that... 6,400 whatever rune essence I bought was to get me to 44 rune crafting, which is the first kind of like easy, good money making uh, ability in the game, which is creating uh, nature runes. Oh, also, after a time, these pouches degrade and they never like actually break apart completely. They just they they have how much es essence they can carry in them. So here's me going to the abyss here and trying to get through here. Uh, oh, yeah, this is also a really hard thing to do. So, turns out, last time I did this, when I was younger and had like a different account, um, you need like high mining and high agility levels to make this efficiently be able to travel in here. I have neither of those. So, and also really low defense, so it's really easy for them to kill me. All those monsters that attack me there, so... I'm gonna have to level some of my stuff up a bit more, I guess. It wasn't, it wasn't gonna be as straightforward as I thought it was gonna be. Here's me getting up, back up to level 44 here in a minute. Which took me a little while. It didn't take too long though. This is actually some of the fastest um, experience in the game, so I was happy about that. Yep, went up there pretty fastly. 
And one more. There we go. All right. I think I do. There you go. Nature runes. That is a huge first muscle. And I got a Chimitari and Chromchai area for um, doing that. So, there you go. And uh, you'll see here. Oh, this is my run that I do. I never did one for the fire attack. Maybe I did last time. You know, I might have done that last episode. Um, showing you what I do for creating the fire. So here's me. Like, look at this. Look how much those guys are hitting. Actually, it wasn't that bad that time. Normally, you fail a whole bunch, though. <laughs> and then you die. And there you go. So that, that's my run. That's what I do. I got a thieving level in there, which is hilarious. And I never saw coming. So I did a thousand H runes. Um, I honestly don't remember how much I profited. A lot. <laughs> I could tell you I profited a lot, but it was very hard to do, and I died once actually, and I almost died a bunch of other times. So I decided to get my defense up, and probably should uh, increase my. Uh, for oh, I also uh, at level 40 magic, I believe you unlock uh, Mystic, which is once again pretty good magic armor. Actually, um, it's not the best. Also, look at that, already down to 78,000 gold. I think this Mystic it costs quite a bit of money. So, oops. Um, oh, you it is. Level 50? Yeah, there you go. Level 50 magic. My very first level 50. Um, weird that magic is my highest uh, stat, because normally it's uh, attack, but I'm too newbie, I guess. 21 ghouls. All these things suck. So, I thought this would be cool at first. Or, it wouldn't be cool, but I thought these would be fine to fight at first. Oh, I got a cheap diary for killing one of these, apparently. Um, I thought those would be cool to kill at first. Uh, turns out, whenever you attack them, they back away from you. Once they get too low of health, like they run away, and then another one will attack you. So it's really hard to be able to actually kill them because they run away too fast. And it's a pain in the ass. It sucked. I hated it so much. I got so bad at them. <sighs> um, this is the first actually slayer task I got that I really enjoyed. I really like uh, killing boss giants. They're really good um, training, actually. They also drop big bones, which are okay prey experience. So this was a uh, particular spot where I started actually burying the bones. It's most of the time it's not really worth it. I am gonna have to buy some. Um, I'm gonna have to sink some money into prayer eventually to get to level 43 because at th those levels you can unlock the ability to um, defend against certain attacks much, 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 much easier. So, do that eventually. So, I got like what, three prayer levels there? That's pretty good, man. Two? Maybe three. I don't know, two or three. Um, I also got a lot. Oh, yeah, look at this. Okay, so where I get my Slayer task, uh, the guy you can see on the top right of the mini map there, you see that little yellow icon. That little face mask looking thing, not the moving yellow ones. That that's where I gotta go. But there's a pipe there. Here, here I'm talking to him there. There's a pipe there that I can't get. Oh, here's my um how long I've been on the account. Two days, 18 hours, and two minutes. I created the account 29 days ago. So I'm gonna start trying doing that at the end of every episode every episode, showing off um what I've done. Uh so yeah, that's it. Um I actually did complete a few levels between finding up the age there and the last level I saw. Unfortunately, those files are on my other computer and I couldn't be bothered to them over so that just means it'll be in the next episode instead so plans i have right now i'm gonna go for a little 50 mining and probably uh, 50 agility and at that point i'm gonna start doing a bunch more um, nature runes uh to make money because i really 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 need money um i'm also next time i stream this game gonna start doing more quests uh i really want to be able to do dragon slayer which um i think I need like 32 quest points i think i have like 11 or 16 or something like that right now so not nearly enough uh, I want to do Dragon Slayer because when you do that, I actually unlock the ability to use a uh, Rune Plate Body, which is um, an upgrade to my Rune Chain Body I currently have on my body. Uh, besides that, um, more Slayer, more combat. Uh, I really need to start getting my ranged up. I don't know what I'm going to do for that yet, to be honest. Um, because there's a lot of enemies in this game that attack with magic based attacks, and the only way to defend against that is with ranged armor, which I don't currently have any access to any, anything good because I need like level 40 for, for the first okay one. Uh, besides that, just generally, I'll probably just randomly choose skills, like thieving's still pretty low. I, I'll probably do that eventually. Um, just going off the top of my head. Uh, I mean, that's really about it. Um, so, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!